So here we are in Sardinia with a solid crew of, uh, of crazy guys. Gauthier, Paulin from the motor world, Loris Verger from the mountain bike world and me. We all decided to come here, do like a fun, friendly trip together and ride some moto, ride some mountain bike, just discover some new places and, and live like, uh, like a week, a little bit off training during this preparation of winter. Film ça ralenti. We can turn the whole world around. I'm in the back seat, really trying to hold it down. And if you up now from the lost and found, and put your hands up high and your shoulders down, it's it. I'm Loic Bruni. I'm a professional Daniel mountain biker, and I'm four time world champion. I'm Gauthier Poulain. I retired from racing last October 2020. I've been winning a few times motocross of nation, five times world champ. I'm Loris Vergier. I'm a professional downhill rider riding for Trek Factory Racing. And in my career, I won three World Cups and been in the top five for a couple of years now and was world champion in 2015 in junior. In the first night, we were riding a little bit on the sand, doing some really cool common things than motor with ruts in the sand and we had the best time on three corners for so long. We can turn the whole world around I'm in the back seat trying to hold it down and if you up now from the lost and found and put your hands up high and your shoulders down sit. On sait pas un jour en vélo riding une ornière comme ça. Growing up, I was just riding my bike and I never thought of the life I'm living right now. I was just riding fast and trying to be a better rider. And then I got the opportunity of being a pro and became my life and I'm living my dream life right now. I was not so into becoming professional and stuff. I was more into enjoying the, the ride kind of, but then slowly I got into the, the rhythm and I, I liked it and I became more and more pro and here we are today and because I felt like I had to enjoy that opportunity I was given and, um, and we did and it's so good. In the beginning I started with BMX. I was six years old just because I was that kid riding a bicycle and I wanted to jump anything. And then I started doing BMX and directly I started to do competition. I wanted to race, always wanted to be the best and I, step by step I became good. I, I won, I went to French Championship, European Championship, World Championship that I won. I think the way I'm made is more like everything I do, I want to do it fast. The first thing is like we are fast riders and we want to ride fast and that's all we do right now. Yeah, when I was a kid, I, I was watching Supercross and Motocross a lot. And I was dreaming of being a guy like that, like in America and stuff. I don't have like a favorite, favorite rider, but I look up to the Motocross guys for sure. And yeah, I'm loving it. In my cities, I, they build a Motocross track and my dad gifted me a, a motorcycle, which I was really lucky about. We, I was really pushing him, you know, it was my dream. And then from that, I started riding motocross to don't race, just to have fun. And I realized that was, that was in my blood. I wanted to race again. This is the vibe on the night. Wake up, don't get tired. Start a ride, man, y'all must be. Hit the pie, come close, don't get snide. You live your life, show you ride. Whole team here, staying hydrated, gotta grow this year. A lot of niggas trying to make my dough disappear. But I'm sitting at the top, you ain't on this tier. Said I'm the best and you know that's true. You ain't never really heard the flow, this cool. Full speed flow, I don't even really see no stop sign. I just roll right through, may the Lord be with you. And then riding a motorcycle, they are fast. First day was on the sand track, which is not easy. C'est dur! Gauthier was nice, he didn't judge us so much. He was like giving us some tips on how to look less uh, struggling. A fish out of the water. And uh, Gauthier was riding like, he didn't ride for two or three months and then first ride back, <laughs> it was impressive. I was like, what the f is happening? You always look up to MX of Nation and you're like, he's the man. Like, he's the MX of Nation man. Like, he won the most overalls and the most like uh, races there. 
I'm really amazed by what they do and how fast they're going and how sick they look on the motocross. And the few days we spent with Gauthier were insane. Just watching how hard it is for us and then how easy it looks, it's like, ah, going home. <laughs> I definitely enjoy riding just for myself. I've been used to have big trucks, mechanics and stuff, logistic and obligation and you know like being strict and the culpability of, of training hard and oh, now was just an open book and we just started to, to, to ride it all you know like just we go we ride, pressure low, wash our bikes, get ready for the, for, for the next day and that, that was it. Simple. Want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You gotta slow it down, girl, you move it too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wanted to ask me. If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me. I came up from the bottom, now look at me now, they mad at me. Yes. I cannot slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wanted to ask me. If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me. Yeah. Ooh. Those guys are fast on the, on the bicycle. It was nice because they are such on a good technique level that I could, I could just try to do the same things behind them because all they do is 100% is control. I've been lucky to go and ride in Raw right there, you know, such a nice landscape, um, beautiful people that uh, open their terrace for us. Life moment, Italian style, hospitality level 100, food, drinks, good times. Every time we are together, it's the same. Like no, nothing has changed. Like we are friends, best friends, laughing so hard for random stuff. We were almost born together. You know, our, our parents were friends and we were just growing up together, learning how to do bikes together, BMX. And then we started to race. He's two years older than me, so I always looked up uh, to him, and he's been the fastest man, like probably like in the, our area. When I see him, I see a better version of me. You know, like we've grew up together, and we've been so many times together that we do a lot of things similar. But because he's always been a little bit younger, he learned, learned, and and corrected my my defaults. And now that I see some stuff, I'm like, fuck. It was just there and I never see, I never saw how to change it. And then he did it because he was a bit smarter and able to watch me making mistakes, you know? good to have something you actually care about and enjoy doing without pressure and just want to get better but for fun. Every time I go ride I feel like I'm improving which is not the case when I'm riding bicycles. For training it makes sense it's not something that's gonna make 
the difference when it comes to seconds on the downhill bike, but I'm pretty sure physically it helps, but uh, it's just something I enjoy a lot. And the good excuse is like, it's good for training too. It's just amazing. Like it's another feel you have like downhill to be fast and professional and you have fun. Obviously I'm loving it, but it's, it's your job. And then you just switch your mind and go to motocross track. You can train a little bit and have fun. And I love that. I really love that. It has been such a nice journey with, uh, with those kids because I really push hard like yeah, I'm retired. It was so funny, we abused with this, this world, you know. The trip was, it went by really quick, so it's a bit sad we are going home soon, but we had like a couple of days not off for us, but it was just enjoying life. And that's what actually is good for us. If I can keep enjoying life, with the people around me that I love like this, my team, my friends. I feel like I have more than enough to be happy. I've been that guy, you know, trying to push and bring our sport higher than it is. I've closed the racing chapter to open another one. Some close it with some big plans. I've closed it just giving myself time and this will open up even bigger plans. And be ready to plan anything. I'm, I'm just gonna try to do my best, like uh, change team to be in a better position to be faster every World Cup and every time I race. So I'm gonna try to prove that next year. And yeah, it's gonna be, I hope the best years of my life because it's short for us, the career, and I just wanna enjoy every minute of it. And I wanna keep building up Loic Bruni's uh, mark on the history of the, of the sport, you know. I don't want to be someone in the sport. I want to be like that one guy that did these things. I feel like I've done some cool things in the sport, but I have more to do and I've failed in the, in the past, that's so why I want to improve myself in the future. And once I feel like I've done everything perf pitch perfect, I'll be like, okay. Now I can turn the page. <laughs>